to your presence here today and what does it mean for EFF to finally have this opportunity to be part of these important uh, sessions around this influential block within the Global South? Now look, as the Economic Freedom Fighters who have been participating in the BRICS Parliamentary Forum, it's not the first time. So in the sidelines of the Inter-Parliamentary Union's uh, 143rd Assembly in Madrid in Spain, we actually had played uh, one of the most significant roles in the SADAC uh, and the BRICS Parliamentary Forum. So we have been always uh, associating uh, with these uh, BRICS uh, parliamentary platforms and, then, and, and we have almost always encouraged that uh, the South African Parliament should be at the forefront of uh, promoting the, the collaboration and cooperation between uh, the BRICS nations. And perhaps what is different with this parliamentary forum is that uh, we are now beginning to see the participation of the BRICS plus six uh, countries and nation states, uh, the delegation from the United Arab Emirates is here, from Ethiopia, from the other countries who uh, have now been resolved by the BRICS summit to be uh, forming part of the BRICS uh, block. And uh, it's a progressive platform which must be encouraged because in the original conceptualization of BRICS, it must not just be government to government relations, it must be people to people relations, parliament to parliament. There must be many other activities as well that are promoted uh, within the global south to, uh, to challenge the global hegemony of the west and that is what the EFF stands for. So we as the EFF are comfortably in these spaces. Uh, well, what about your expectations in terms of the deliverables? I mean you look at the commissions, the issues of climate change and also making sure that the executive do implement the outcomes of uh, the 15th summit uh, that was held here in South Africa? Look, I, there are so many common issues which we have to, to commonly pursue as BRICS nations uh, in the world. Uh, and of course there's an issue of climate change as to just how do we approach the whole question because the master narrative now on climate change has been driven by Western government and forces and imperialist forces who have got narrow and selfish interests which in most instances undermine the energy security of the countries that they give advice to. So the BRICS nation must come up with clear perspective as to just how do we deal with the climate change. But also there must be a common perspective on the reform of the United Nations. So I think we must utilize these platforms to call for the total overhaul of the United Nations uh, Security Council to have greater participation, particularly of the African countries, because I mean, we've got more than a billion people in Africa, but we do not have any meaningful participation in the United Nations. So we must look be our friends in a BRICS parliamentary forum that perhaps in the next General Assembly of the United Nations, we should table a concrete program on how we get to reform the United Nations. Uh, but otherwise, we, there are so many issues that we can deliberate on and give clearer perspective. And, and I'm sure that we will be able to achieve that. But the last issue, of course, which is important is that South Africa has to consolidate the views of the African continent and not relate with BRICS nations just as one country. We should lobby for a pan-continental infrastructure programs and and, 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 and activities and infrastructure that is going to integrate the African continent because at the center of the EFF's existence is the ultimate integration of the entire African continent and that is the voice that we're going to resonate in this platform. All right, so thank you.